four. We're starting with game one right here. Stage most likely Pokemon Stadium 2, but I'll double check to see. Yep. Very, very popular neutral. How many times have we seen these top eight sets where all five games are played out on Pokemon? 100,000. I'm so happy that this is <laughs> better, by the way. It's, it's a new Smashville. So right there, um, one thing that M Ape Man does so successfully is use the air to open up combos. And that robot, what's that move called? Those robot arms. Uh, it's called a side beat. I don't know the name all of right. that. <laughs> we're we're going to call it the Whirly Gig. There we go. Okay. Great use of down tilt. Try to pressure the shield, but MVD grabbed them first. So far, we've honestly seen kind of Rob's impression of Snake so far. Instead of there, it's just been Nair over and over again. Whoa, he actually, it seemed like the up smash was supposed to hit, but he barely grabbed the ledge right there so soon. And Gyro making, look at that, Snake can actually dash attack and pick up the Gyro. That's going to be huge for him. That's the beauty of that dash attack. And oh! On the arms. Actually, a hard up smash, but only the sour spot of up tilt seemed to hit. For 8-bit man, it's very relief from that, but an up smash, taking the first stock, very impressive. And so that was a really, really hard read on 8-bit man's part, calling out the fact that while uh, MBD was holding the grenade, he had to Z-drop away from it at that point. Right. And Nikita, great tech from 8-bit man, my goodness, on the side of the stage, nonetheless. I wonder if that's the longer Nikita being out is going to have less and less knockback and less damage. It has Fresh to. Nikita is going to be much stronger. That's what kept him alive there, teching at 150. And right there, that down throw up tilt, we've seen it so many times. It really is, if you keep it, keep your combo simple. The more complex you make them, the higher chance you're messing them up. It's crazy that that, that pummel even works. Rob doesn't have a neck to choke. I mean, he has, he has no neck, but he has a lot of firmware. This man is a big, big target. See, even, like, even the fact that we saw MVD take the stock second, already building up a huge amount of damage, using the Nikita to knock away the gyro. Yeah, Gyro, of course, makes like a wall between both opponents and makes Snake have to go in the air unless he commits to a dash attack. But if he does that, Robin just grab him. I'm interested to see how grenades impact Gyro. I know the explosion. Wow, that killed. Down throw, forward tilt. And now MVD is sitting at a comfy two stock lead. Oh, and there's that there. 25% jab combo. Great spot dodge. Oh, oh. man, so I, I think right now that. Uh, 8-Bit Man is rushing in a little too hard. MVD is holding the stock lead with no problem. And this was our initial discussion. How does Ooh. Rob get down? I really I really do think that forward smash should be used more often. Well, because I personally like seeing it. You see the B reverse there with the C4. Yeah, and if you use a C4 on that platform, it covers both above and below it. It's so good. Especially if you're really tall like Rob. Oh, turn around Nikita. That's going to definitely kill dominating two stock from MVD to game one. That was really impressive. Dropping the Nikita below, waiting for the side B as the attempted either to knock out the hitbox of Nikita or just simply to reflect it, and MVD just using to circle back around and finish out that game. I, I think that the big issue right there was that Ape Man was having trouble figuring out how to recover more efficiently. Thinking right now the stage to go to. Do you want to run it back Pokemon Stadium or are you going to go to somewhere a little more risque? It's going to be really difficult. You know, Rob, obviously, with the much older operating system, Otacon keeping Snake up to date the entire time. We'll see how that firmware comes into play. Okay, going to Lilac Cruise, which is, uh, I mean, it's good for Rob, but, I mean, famously, MVD has had a love affair with Lilac Cruise. It loves this stage, thinks it's beautiful and perfect in every single way. It's going to be a battle of stage control for sure. Both of these players pretty comfortable just sitting in the corner and setting up their own set play. So who's able to really control that most will make a huge difference. Oh, hello. Whoa. <laughs> this, this is a throwback, too. I mean, Diddy Kong on this stage was super good in Smash 4, but he's taking 41 to start with. It's a gamble. I mean, he knows it's MBD's counter pick, but uh, I, I like it. I, I like the diversity, and I, I think with a good, uh, with some smart banana play, Depending on when he can land a banana or not, it's going to determine who wins this match. My biggest issue with this counter pick is the fact that Diddy's take just struggles so much to kill. And especially against a character with the girthiness of Snake, it's going to be really hard. Monkey Flip still remains one of the best in-air options you can have. The fact you can be reverse it, the fact that it has so much priority. Oh, there's the down air. It almost killed. Banana, banana up. in the air. Banana up. Let's trap. now. Okay, but look at that down throw. Ooh, barely missing it. Down throw again. He broke out of it! Oh, we see the banana grab there. That dash attack being so valuable. And this is it. Basically a panic option, but at that percent, as you said, works every time. 
only 56% on MBD right now. We're looking at more of the same from game one, just very comfortable against either of 8 Bitman's characters. Oh, the tilt of Lilat actually going to prevent the C4 from connecting there. He almost got forward there on shields. So we'll see what happens. Up smash now. The grenade pulls too. More and more damage building up. MBD just holding <laughs> the shield. In shield. They don't mind this one bit. And he can hold. Nikita lasts so long. Oh my Man. gosh! Again, a third one. Oh, the rollback. And he's holding oh. the banana the entire time. That's the beauty of Snake. So reliant on those specials sometimes. It almost seemed like he had lost it. You didn't see the banana for the longest time until he was able to confirm that up tilt. And it looks like choosing Diddy Kong not quite the right option here. Of course, the game is not over yet, but MVD is so good at staying at these high percents. And it seems that 8 Man is having a bit of trouble finding kill options off banana. It's almost as if Snake is dummy thick. All right, down smash again. This might be a three star. Oh, that was this close. See the down throw. Oh, oh, oh my God, my. the step back to avoid All right. the get up attack. <laughs> Ape it Man doing a bit of a pog champ face right there. Looking stunned as MD ranks up a 2-0 lead. The beauty of this, if Brett were to, or if it were a Bitman were to fall to MVD, MVD obviously rent is due. He's inside his mind right now. <laughs> Living free. All right, Ape Man definitely gonna go back to Rob. The question is, when you're down 2-0, do you take a risk on the stage? Go somewhere small, do they want to dance? I just want to see them on Yoshi's Island. I want to see these two uh, uh, Yoshi's Island is like- Cut the stage in half. High key, my favorite stage. This one is my least favorite stage, but that's okay. I'm not on this one, Stanley. So now we're waiting. We're gonna see a huge amount of space for either player to really try to establish their neutral game. And of course, back to the back to the Rob. The Diddy was not the answer. Diddy definitely did not work in his favor. And we haven't seen too much of Ape Man using the, the the Whirly Gig, the arms. Yeah, it's, it's so there's actually a lot of combos that'll lead into it, but unfortunately with the frame one pull of grenade really intercepting oh. a lot of those, it's gonna be really difficult to connect it. The he may still be able to connect it when he uses the uppy, but it's such a high committal option and drops him like a stone. Grenade's so useful for not only starting combos, but also breaking yourself out of combos. Back throw into the up tilt, 32%, good lord. And once again, we see the item being taken away there. This is a player off, across multiple games, MVD super, super capable of an item play of his own. So he has his grenades, but when he takes the banana and when he takes the gyro, he really shuts down his neutral. Forward throw to gyro. The air dodging onto the ledge might have been a whiff right there, or a quick option to land on the ledge. So sometimes if he had managed trump. to get the trump there, that would have been the biggest brain play possible. Trump to back air would have been actually amazing. What? The Nikita lasting so long. I thought it was going to fall to gravity, but he actually curved it upward, delaying the fall of it a little more. Oh, goes for the high up air that would have been able to close it out, but MVD avoids it, gets all three hits a jab, and pushes Eight Bitman off stage again. This has been a dominant performance. This is someone that wants the run back versus Salem. He wants it very badly. Taking advantage right now of Kalos' two side platforms. Uh oh, a lot of room for Snake to run around and play. Great air dodge to step back into the ledge at 123, and little by little, it looks like Eight Man almost a kill percent. No way, I think one more might kill him. Uh oh, he's going high. Will he land it? Circle. Oh, just missed. Is he gonna go for it again? Oh my Whoa. <laughs> Oh, into the corner! Jesse! Oh. Jesse! Are you... Oh. It's just out of gas. He actually hit the tech down there. What is this move right now? I don't. I do not understand. We're waiting once again. The forward smash now landing. And look at the set is all but over as MVD blows himself up. Brett, Brett's going to need some huge brain plays here. But it's looking like the explosions are a little too much for him to handle. He's waiting right now at 72, 82, with every passing second it's a little bit higher. Grenade on the ground there. He's trying to get something started. This does not look like a passing of the torch moment like we've seen so many times in their earlier sets in four. This looks like MVD at his peak right now. He's, his reactions are so quick, and just his predictions with Nikita have really been extremely on point. Tried to use a first hit of forwards up there to get a grab started, but not quite yet. Grenade on the ground, all of them's covered. Oh, see where he goes, drops the C4, drops it again. Can you imagine a forward smasher to cover that? Oh, he is trying. Like, I feel like he's going for the style at this point. He knows he's yep. really got this in pocket at this point. He wants to finish this out. Grab will kill here. Up to will kill here. And right now, go for the grab. And the game. He doesn't even go for the grab there. Oh, he wait. Grab off of that. Wait a second. Now suddenly, but I mean, that's the problem. So many things will finish this set right now. Man, Ape Man's no slouch. He's been here before. One nair, two nairs. Maybe some lasers here. 
And he's at full rage. Yeah, only 7% right now. Oh my and God. fair from center stage. Yep, the dribble. Ooh. Definitely going to kill him instantly. A dominant 3 0. Really was. We've seen so many game fives. That was actually a quite a, a, a contrast what we've seen so 